Today I want to get into John Cook's letter and words to Army. I have a lot to say about it. I also want to get into people saying that John Cook might be enlisting in December. And then I want to get into a staff getting fired and what happened there. Say dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling, tasteling mug merch, and let's go. I think in the last few days, people have been very shocked to hear that a Hive staff member was fired. I think a lot of people think that Hive are working with BTS as a dream job, and it is. But I think we also think that it's hard to get fired. And it sort of is, as it seems like the boys and the company have such loyalty to their team, but not when they're allegedly doing very big illegal things. So what happened? There's a specific staff, or I believe dancer, trainer, that has been long associated with BTS and the boys. A name wasn't specifically ever dropped by new site so I don't want to assume which one it could be and I don't want to wrongfully call someone fired when they might have just quit. And I also want to note all this is alleged. So I'm going to say we have no idea who and which trainer got fired. It was reported on November 20th that the dismissal happened and it was believed they committed some high level fraud that resulted in embezzlement equivalent to about 3.9 million US dollars. Apparently this had been going on for quite some time and once Hybe was made aware, they went to investigate and not only was the perpetrator reprimanded and taken legal action on, they were also let go. When they realized something was wrong, they hired an outside law firm to deal with this and were shocked at the discovery. So obviously you can see here that the boys and the company are very loyal and love their employees. But not only when you commit this level of fraud do you have to be let go, this is a new level of betrayal because this isn't like a little bit of money. This is so much money. It was believed that this action happened through the alleged person leveraging their connections with the company and the artists there. It was believed they extorted money from composers, choreographers, entrepreneurs, believing to be borrowing money from them and then not returning it. It probably wasn't even that hard to get the money as due to the alleged trainer's connections, they could have told people that the money was going towards Hybe or whoever and the people giving the money would likely believe it and then never get their money back. Now this was never reported by news and said by Hive to be what happened, but we can assume assume when we hear things like a significant amount of money was never returned when borrowed. And given how much money it was, it seemed like the money was allegedly supposed to be a loan or investment towards Hive. So basically they got tricked. Crimes like this aren't hard to do at all. Even on a much smaller scale, if you worked as a cashier at a supermarket, it's easy to take all the money from the register and run. But it says a lot more about your own personal integrity when given the opportunity to take the money right in front of you, to not do it, and to only take the money that is owed to you. There isn't really a lesson here other than the obvious, but I think it's worrisome that we hear that the boys can potentially be surrounded by people that are trying to take advantage of their own situation, and in doing so have gotten a substantial amount of money an amount of money that none of us would ever see in our lifetime. It's tough to see someone's hard work being used in such a way and it's tough when you have potential investors, i.e. the entrepreneurs and other people who were lending the money, potentially believing it was because the Hybe or the boys were not financially responsible and that is why the lender won't get their money back. So the whole time in their head they're cursing out the company and all that. And when we see for example how hard BTS works, imagine someone cursing BTS out in their head and it's over something they didn't even do. Jungkook, for example, has always shown such love and dedication to everyone he works with and recently after it was announced that he will be enlisting soon, Jungkook posted a formal letter onto Weavers for everyone. I want to read some of it because it's beautiful and everything is very important. And then I want to talk about it. He said, in December I will start a new journey. I'm leaving you for a while to serve in the military. As I share this news, I feel heavy on one hand and on the other hand I am reminded of precious memories with ARMY. So my heart warms up. Every moment I've spent with you has been the brightest time in my life. Army's laughter, support, and love led me to this point. Thank you so much for supporting my dreams and walking with me silently. I'm careful to tell you to wait for me while I'm in the military. A year and a half is a long time, so I can't say anything selfish. I promise that I'll be back on stage with a more mature side where I always am. I hope Army's lives will be full of laughter and happiness. I hope you fill in Army's daily life healthy and beautifully. I miss you deeply while waiting for the day we meet again and talk about something new. Don't get sick and 
stay healthy. I love you. This got Armies very emotional as this would be his final words on it before he leaves. However, I want to note while this is emotional, this is definitely not his final, final words in general. I just feel like the promotion is not even close to over and there's some stuff that he would likely want to do before he goes. I just feel like if he were to drop everything and enlist now, it would feel almost incomplete. Usually artists will try to release one more music video after the album drops and then there's this huge demand for Jungkook right now. Is Jungkook or even the label going to be like okay with this idea of letting the hype and demand die down and then just have Jungkook enlist when he could enlist just a little bit later and do a tour and fulfill the demand? I don't know. And if Jungkook does end up leaving soon, then I guess I am wrong. Maybe that was always the plan. By the way, if you need a community to fangirl and watch K-pop videos with and just something to fill your time back up when the boys do leave, check out Patreon. We will always be talking and fangirling over BTS over there, but I will also be doing some other reactions to other K-pop groups. So I will link that at the top of the description. Anyway, the announcement of the remaining members enlisting was quite jarring because I think people were expecting that the members would release something once more before going. And I think it was because the members had hinted towards that. People were saying that Hybe's social media staff releasing this was likely their way of saying that Jungkook will enlist in December and possibly even early December. People have many theories as to what the initial statement of the remaining members enlisting and what that could mean. The statement basically said that the members have begun initiating the process of enlisting very soon. And if you're not aware, this is how that process works. So in most normal cases, once you are a man in Korea that is eligible age and able bodied for inscription, usually 18, the government will reach out to you via a letter. Once you're called, you then have a certain number of days to formally either register or you're already registered and then you just go and they get a date as to when they'll be summoned. And then I think you can reject your summon only a couple of times. Now BTS's case is very different given their impact on the economy in South Korea. While they didn't fully get exemption, they did get something. They were allowed a BTS law which basically pushes their enlistment age to 30. So normal people have to enlist by 28, they can wait until they're 30. They have to formally file to get this extension and each member already did. Now what began the enlistment process could mean is that they are removing the extension so that the extension is no longer protecting them from the government letter. So once it's removed, they could get that letter at any time. So it's believed that the members got that, but we actually have no idea if that is true or not. Now there's been some debate as to whether Jungkook was saying December, meaning he will enlist that date, or if that month means something else. I do want to add, and I think it's important to note that whatever news story that is being told will always have some pushback from specifically the K-pop fandom. If the news comes out and confirms an enlistment date, there will still be people saying that the news site is lying because they don't see the government alert, but also will refuse to Google it themselves. And then there's people who just don't like the news, so they will call it fake. And then others like me are a bit delusional. But if I were to take off my delusion glasses, to me personally, it seems like Jungkook is saying that he will enlist in December. It just reads that way. And why even throw out the month December in the same statement talking about enlistment if it's not that month you'd go? It just doesn't make entire sense unless he is enlisting then. However, I could be wrong, right? That's not the first time I would be wrong and things can happen and change. Another meaning for what December could mean is even a world tour. And this is one that is just more so far fetched and probably not true, but if you want to believe it and be delusional with me for a second, then here is that. He puts the month December and when he formally says military in two different sentences, and then he says he will start a new journey in December. And that could mean tour. I just really want a tour. And I get that he might not want to and touring is very stressful, so why subject him to that before doing military service? But anyway, I'm curious as to if you think the letter is a literal date being said and that the staff had let it come out, or do you think it's not? Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thank you so much for the comments right here. Love you. Bye.